I'm finding myself longing for those days many months ago when Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was saying, I'm going to run a clean campaign in the 2019 election. We're going to be above board. We're not going to punch below the belt. Remember he was messaging that back in December and January at his events with donors and so forth? Now, a lot of us rolled our eyes then, and we know, come on, that's not really the case. He's just trying to frame himself as the positive guy, the guy who is doing the clean campaign. Meanwhile, they're going to continue to punch below the belt whenever they have the opportunity to. But at least he was pretending, at least he was paying lip service to the notion, right? Well, that was then. This is now. Ever since Labscam broke, things have gotten pretty dirty. Whether it's dealing with Jane Philpott and Jody Wilson-Raybould in a pretty gloves-off way and sending people out there to smear their reputations, or whether it's bandying about that phrase white supremacy as much as you can and trying to affix the label to Andrew Scheer, make it a sort of guilt by association thing. I'm kind of shocked to see that the Prime Minister himself is actually tweeting this and saying this. It's one thing to have your proxies in the media or the lower level caucus members out and about and making those accusations, but when the Prime Minister himself is saying these sorts of uh, kind of low blows, I mean, it really doesn't look good on the office of it, but they've made that call. Now, there's a new development in just how far Justin Trudeau is willing to go to get people's votes. And apparently it includes revising nonpartisan national security reports to keep people in the liberal fold. So backtrack a bit, and one of the Public Safety Canada reports, the annual reports that looks at terror threats, included a reference to Sikh extremism as something that security agencies were, were keeping an eye on. Now, it wouldn't have been in there if it wasn't true, but this still outraged some people in the Sikh community. They wanted it taken out. Even though at no point does it say all Sikhs, it's making it clear that they just have a concern with Sikh extremists. And by the way, this was not the focus of the whole report. The Sikh element was pretty small. It was really just a few sentences. But that wasn't enough for some activists. They said they were so unhappy that Justin Trudeau would be banned from some of their celebrations, their Khalsa Day events and parades, the sort of places where politicians like to go and put on the outfits and pander to votes. And these activists made it clear that, well, this may come back to hurt Justin Trudeau and the Liberals during election time. So rather than we'll sit down with these people and try to explain, no, it doesn't mean everyone. It just means, hey, it just means the extremists. I mean, that's what the report says. It should be obvious. No, instead of that, they changed the report. Ralph Goodell ordered a review of it after these protesters complained. Whatever that even means, how does that even make it eligible for a review? Protesters don't like it, but this is what the report says. They took the words out and they significantly watered it down. Wow. After these people have basically said, we're angry, you can't come to our events, we're not going to vote for you if you have this in. So they go, oh, votes are on the line, we will change the report. It is incredibly troublesome. I was speaking to Ujjal Dusanj, who's a former federal liberal cabinet minister, the former NDP premier of British Columbia, and himself a previous victim of uh, radical Sikh extremist violence. He had been assaulted in the 1980s. He spoke about this with me and he said this is incredibly alarming and Canadians should be aware of the fact that basically our national security agencies have been compromised. This just leaves the question, what more are we going to see happen in the coming months as Justin Show and the Liberals fight for votes? How much further will they go? How low will they go? We shall see.